All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can generate QR codes. Also, I'm gonna show you how to generate QR codes in bulk in Google Sheets. So first, let's just generate a QR code. So to generate one QR code, we can go to this website, uh, goqr.me. And depending on the type of QR code you want, you will just click on it. So let's say we want a URL, which is like a website or uh, any link really, and then type your link. So you just go HTTPS, dot, 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 google.com or whatever that is. And then you can just download your QR generated image right here. And that's pretty much it. Now that's pretty straightforward. Now let's try to now do that same thing using their API. So on top here, there is this QR code API. If I click on that link, it's going to take me there. And it gives us an example of the API call right here. So I'm just going to click on that example of the API call. And you can see how we get the QR image. So I'm just going to copy that hyperlink for now. I'll just paste it in my spreadsheet somewhere in here because we're going to need that. And then I'm going to go back to the documentation. So here there is also this API documentation. If I click on this, so there is one to read the QR codes. We're going to use the one to create the QR code. So this one. So if I click here, it will give us what other parameters, if we decide to use them, we could use, which I don't think we're going to need. But basically, if you wanted to customize that a little bit more, you could just go here and do some changes to your URL parameters and things like that. So what I'm going to do on my side, I'm just going to go here. This is that link we need to generate that QR code. And if you see right here, this is the size of the QR code. So if you needed something bigger, you could change that. And most importantly, in the end here, after this data equals to, we have this example, which is the content of that QR code. Now, if you wanted it to be some word, that would be the word right here. Now, in our case, we want that to be a link. So that should be something like HTTPS, and then basically whatever that link is gonna be right here. But we also want to make sure that we URL encode all the stuff so that it doesn't accidentally break the whole link. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to remove everything after the equal sign. Just keep this part. That's all I'm going to need from here. And I'm just going to copy that link and then go on top here. So the first thing I'm going to start by is by URL encoding all these hyperlinks on the left. So the way I can do that, I can start with an equal sign and then use a function in Google Sheets encode URL and then just point to this URL. So if I do that, you'll see it has all the special characters now encoded with the way it's supposed to be. And if we drag it down, it's going to encode all these other ones as well. And it just works fine. So now what I want to do, I need this to be a parameter after this equal sign right here. So to do that, I'm just going to go here before this encode URL, hit a couple of spaces and start a quotation, paste my URL and close the quotation. So whatever I had here that goes in quotations right there. And then after that quotation is closed, I'm going to do an ampersand to add this rest of the encoded URL in the end. So concatenating that URL in the end, if I hit enter, that will give me the new link. Let me just zoom out a little bit so you can see. So basically that's that link that was this equals and then whatever's on the left. So now if I grab this and just drag this down, it should basically be the starting part of the link is that thing that starts with data equals to and then our encoded data coming from this first column in our spreadsheet. So now we need to make sure that these don't show up as links. We want to make sure that these show up as the image. So to do that, we're just going to go back to this thing right here. And I'm just going to take this whole thing without the equal sign. I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to start with image function. So image function will accept the URL 
for our image, which is gonna be that URL I had. So I'm just gonna paste what I had. And then I need to close another parentheses to close my image function. And then I'm gonna hit enter. And hopefully if we do everything correctly, that is our QR code. If we drag it down, we have all of our QR codes. Now you probably would want this to be bigger. So I'm gonna just select these rows, however many I need on the left. So from first to third, and then I'm gonna just resize all of them to make them bigger. So as you can see, as you give it more room, that will also make the QR code bigger. But at some point, this QR code is gonna get pixelated depending on how large you want this to be in your spreadsheet. And the reason for that is the size that you chose here. So if you chose a smaller size here, and if you make it bigger than that size, it's gonna just start looking pixelated. So what you can do, you can just go to this and just increase that size and you want to make sure it's a perfect square. So if you change like this one to 300, you wanna make sure you change this other one to 300 as well. So now that will double my original picture size and you can see how it's now looking much clearer in here, or at least I can see on my screen. And then if I drag it down, it's just gonna re-up all of these QR codes and now we should have all of them. If you want more, you just increase the size. So I'm gonna quickly grab my phone and test one of these QR codes to make sure it works. So I'm not sure how this works on Android devices, but on something like an iPhone, you just take your camera and just point to the QR code and it kind of just works. So it should just open now the link, whatever I point to. So, and you're not gonna be able to tell that I'm doing this, but Right now I've just tested this on my device and it works just fine. So you probably want to just test them to make sure they work a couple of them, but that's pretty much it. It just works just like that. So when you use APIs, you just have to know that at some point you're gonna run out of limits how many times you can just call that API until it just kicks you out of it, at least temporarily. In those cases, you would probably need a paid service, but I've tried this with about like 600 lines in my spreadsheet and it generated all of them just fine. So it's okay. So if you're using this for commercial purposes, if you go back to their website, they have a link to get them coffee. So maybe you should do that, help them out. And they, I think, have paid services as well. I, again, I'm not connected with them. So I'm not really recommending their service. It's just something that works. And if you really want to use it in a project, maybe do some more research, make sure this is something you can use. But other than that, this should give you an idea. Whatever other API you decide to use, it should be pretty much the same sort of thing. And that should do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.